So we know very little about the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, but the fact that Princess Zelda is free from captivity means that she can potentially have a turn as a playable character. If Zelda is playable alongside Link, then she can offer a lot of variety to the gameplay and mechanics established by the original Breath of the Wild. In this week's video, let's explore exactly what Princess Zelda could offer as a potential playable character. Let's get started. How's it going everyone? I hope you're having an amazing day so far. I'm Derek with Zelda Theory and welcome to the channel. If this is your first time seeing my content, my channel is focused 100% on the Legend of Zelda series. Videos will consist of Breath of the Wild 2 theories, Zelda lore, Zelda gaming list, and so much more. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification for brand new Zelda content every single week. I hope you find value here today. In Breath of the Wild, Zelda spent a century keeping Calamity Ganon in place with her powers. Link awakens after a hundred years of sleep, claims the Master Sword, and slays Ganon with Zelda's help. Of course, if you were of the speedrun community, you could have done it with a pot lid and some pajamas, but that's a different subject. <laughs> Zelda is freed at the end of the game, but we don't know what happens after the conclusion of the story. The story could have easily ended there, but Nintendo announced a Breath of the Wild sequel at E3 2019. I feel like I always reference this. <laughs> All we know about the game comes from the E3 trailer, but it showed Link and Zelda exploring a cave together before encountering some kind of undead menace. It wouldn't be out of character for Nintendo to immediately sideline Zelda and make the goal of rescuing her the main quest of the game, like normal. But the time might have come for her to be playable in a mainline entry in the series. Zelda has been playable in the spin-offs in the past, including games like Hyrule Warriors, but she has yet to have a starring role in the series that carries her name. So in terms of playstyle, Link in The Legend of Zelda is a swordsman, archer, you guys know this, <laughs> whose special abilities are tied to combat or items he finds on his journey. There have been many iterations of Princess Zelda, but she has consistently been shown as a mage, a witch, a spellcaster, with the ability to conquer the Bow of Light and Light Arrows, create magical barriers, throw fireballs, and heal specific wounds. In terms of her combat abilities, Princess Zelda also fights with a rapier on occasion, but her spellcasting abilities are her main way of dealing with enemies in the series. If Zelda is playable in the sequel to Breath of the Wild, then she can offer a new playstyle to the game. Unlike Link's need to keep refreshing his arsenal from the weapons he finds on his journey, Zelda can have an entire repertoire of spells to call on in battle. It's possible that keeping Ganon at bay for so long weakened her or prevented her abilities from developing, so there is a built-in reason as to why she starts out weak and gets stronger over the course of the game. Zelda could use a conventional experience point system or skill point system for her progression, which would be pretty dope, which could give her a reason to complete the side quest and clear out enemy outposts, which was a big issue with the original in my opinion, as Link usually used more resources completing a quest than what he gained in rewards. The player could also avoid the weapon durability system that just annoyed so many fans of the original, and me included. Princess Zelda could potentially offer a new personality to the series. Link has always been a silent protagonist, which has its positives and its negatives. The player has always been free to interpret Link's mannerisms however they wanted, fleshing out the character in their head in ways that the developers might have never imagined. Now, if Zelda is a playable character in the sequel, then she cannot be a silent protagonist with a flexible personality. Zelda's personality was well established in Breath of the Wild and her voice is heard throughout the game. This means that you and I would be experiencing Hyrule through a perspective of another, which has all kinds of storytelling opportunities. Can you imagine, my friends? It means that we can have a protagonist who talks back, who questions the actions of those around her, and who isn't afraid to let her opinion be known. The fact that Zelda talks and has a defined personality would definitely give her a drastically different playthrough to Link, even if the rest of the story and the quest were the exact same. The first game that comes to my mind is in Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, you had Sora's side of the story and you had Riku's side. The story ends in the same spot, but they take two different unique paths. I think that would be super cool in the sequel to Breath of the Wild. Be sure to let me know below in the comment section what you guys think. 
Finally, we saved the one that everybody pretty much assumed was going to be in this video is the co-op gameplay. The portable nature of the Nintendo Switch coupled with the online capabilities of the system means that players finally have a co-op mode in the mainline Legend of Zelda games. Link has had to save Princess Zelda on so many occasions throughout the series, but the time might have arrived for them to take to the battlefield as a couple and face Ganon together. This is extremely popular in the theory community. It is also at the same time not as popular because there are people on the far left of this where they think that co-op would just completely destroy the series in itself. And then there's people on the other side where I feel like it would help the series now, if you found any value in this week's video, be sure to click or tap on one of the two videos on the screen here to see more Zelda related content. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Continue to be the light and remember, it's dangerous to go alone. Let's talk soon.